Now, your first warm weather forecast with meteorologist Joey Marino. Good morning, everybody. Looking back at yesterday, it was a very fall-like day across the state line. Temperatures, because of the cloud cover and that breeze that we had during the afternoon, only climbed up to 69 degrees when our average high for August 3rd is 84 degrees. The last time that Rockford got a 60-degree day was back on May 21st. Now, did definitely feel like fall throughout the afternoon yesterday. We're still going to continue with that cooler pattern as we head into the day today. But a beautiful start out there as we take a live look at our Mercy Health SkyTrack camera over downtown Rockford. We are starting off with less cloud cover, unlike yesterday, starting off with mostly cloudy skies. This morning, we're starting off with plenty of sunshine. And because of having less cloud cover around, temperatures are still refreshing out there, but they're cooler in most spots. 56 right now in Rockford, 52 up in Janesville, 51 to start in Freeport, 55 in Galena, and 53 degrees down in Rochelle. Now, winds overnight did shift to the northwest, but they're very light this morning, about 5 to 10 mile per hour winds out there. If you're going to be heading out for the morning commute, you're not going to run into anything weather-wise that's going to slow you down this morning because of cloud cover clear out overnight last night, not looking at any cloud cover this morning and also any rain chances. Now, because of a high pressure system that is to our west still, this is going to keep us fairly dry throughout the day today as it continues to move just to the west of the state line, and then it's going to be making its way to the east as we head into the day tomorrow. So today and tomorrow are going to be fairly dry, and we're going to have that cooler pattern stick around into the middle of the work week. But once this high pressure system starts to make its way east of the area, uh, shifting over the Great Lakes region, that's going to allow for warmer winds to make their way into the state line. So that's going to be why we see uh, fall to start off the work week. But then as we head towards the weekend, we're going to see the return of those summer-like temperatures. Now, yesterday we hit a high of 69 degrees. Wednesday, we're going to hit a high of 76, but you can see that temperatures continue to climb as we head into the upcoming weekend. Friday's high of 84, then back close to the 90 degree mark as we head towards the end of the weekend. So taking a look at future casts for the rest of the day today, we are going to start off with plenty of sunshine, but then you see those fair weather cumulus clouds start to fill our skies as we head into the afternoon. Temperatures we're going to stay in the low 70s today, so another gorgeous day out there to get outside and enjoy this fall-like pattern that we have. Now, tonight we're going to see cloud cover decrease after sunset, so we're going to see mostly clear skies overnight, and that's going to allow temperatures to uh, bottom out once again or rapidly drop into the low 50s uh, by tomorrow morning. So another refreshing start to the day, but once we get into tomorrow afternoon, we'll see partly sunny skies once again and remaining pleasant into tomorrow night. In fact, that high pressure system is going to keep us fairly dry as we head into the second half of the work week because widespread rain chances hold off until the upcoming weekend when we see the return of that summer-like pattern. So 73 today, then we get up into the upper 70s tomorrow, low 80s for the rest of the work week, but then you see summer return over the weekend, getting close to that 90 degree mark again, Elliot.